So here is the template for the trunk floor pan. And I flipped it over upside down just to do some sketches. And the first thing I figured out was our little boxed in frame rail sections that we're gonna put to the underside of the sheet metal of the floor pan of the trunk here. And so this is the channels where it will fit up into. And we'll use a rubber gasket between the frame rail that we're gonna build and the top of the fuel cell here. And so I made a measurement. The frame rail is gonna be two and a half inches wide. It's gonna be a half inch tall. And it's gonna be 14 inches apart on center. And so I transferred that over to my template here. So we have, this is the width of the frame rail and then we have a one inch flange for doing spot welds on. And then they're 14 inches apart on center. And I also wanna have a matching structure at the back of the floor pan. This is the side where it'll go up over the notch. And so I wanted a structure back here to add a lot of stiffness to this part of the panel. Up here we don't need it because that's where that inch and a half riser piece is gonna be. And the frame rails will actually come up and attach to that. I bent up just a little test piece out of aluminum to wrap my head around what's gonna be going on and how I need to bend it and how I can cut it and everything else. What I wanted to do was on the actual sheet metal floor pan was add even more stiffness to it. So I'm thinking about adding this bead rolled element and that will go in the middle of the frame rail there. And between those two things, it'll really make it pretty much brick shithouse. And then I kind of just experimented with the rest of the panel to add some stiffness to it. I made this little L shape first. And so then I decided, well, keeping with this same theme here, instead of just doing the L shape and leaving a big void there, we could roll this X into each side and that would give a ton of stiffness to the panel as well. So once I get this in and weld it in place and everything, eventually there's gonna be carpet over this. These design elements won't show through the carpet at all, but they'll sure add a lot of strength to it. And then what we can do too is keep this general design theme and put that onto the back panel here. So I went ahead and I made this back panel. It's gonna have the bend in it up top here. And you can see where the nut certs are. So this will be, there'll be a piece of eighth inch rubber underneath here and there'll be another sheet that kind of caps it, that's removable. And those three items will be bolted through all of these nut certs and be nice and secure and also be sealed from the elements. So I went ahead and made this template that fits up real nice to the flanges. What we can do with that too is transfer any of the bead rolled elements to the vertical part just to kind of match. That panel is gonna be really easy to make. The only thing that kind of sucks about this panel and the trunk pan panel is that my foot shear here is only 36 inches wide. This is 47 inches wide, just shy of 47. So I won't be able to make that nice crisp cut with it. I'll have to do it either with hand shears. I can use my Beverly shear right here, which is really designed to cut um, radiuses more than straight because it's such a short amount. Otherwise I have this bench press right here, which is a 12 inch uh, bench shear. The only problem with that shear, it's a cheaper one, I think it's uh, Shop Fox brand, is it's really picky and it goes out of adjustment quickly because you have these two nuts <laughs> that you lock together on the hinge. And so if that gets out of alignment or loosens, you won't get that nice crisp cut. And you can get most of the way through a panel and then all of a sudden instead of cutting it, it like smears it, it almost folds it over. And then you ruin the panel. And I like to do all my bead rolling first 
before I do any of the cutting so you'll lose all that time and effort that you've put into that panel. So got that going, which is great. So I got that going, which is nice. And I'm gonna start working on the boxed sections because that's the least fun part of this process and I like getting that stuff out of the way first so it doesn't feel like the process is dragging on. I always leave the best for last. It's like when I eat French toast, I always eat the crust first. What the French toast? Because I love the middle. And so that's what we're gonna do with this. We're gonna eat that crust first. All right, I got the boxed sections for the trunk floor pan made. You can see this is where they're gonna fit up on the floor pan. This will be the underside, or it'll be on the car, like that. The next step here is to section these parts into this part here so that they're all one unit. And then once this structure is complete and I get the floor pan bead rolled and cut, then I can Clico these panels all together and get them in the car and then start spot welding it all together. Can I just say it once?